For this video, we're going to learn how to tell time in five minute intervals by reading the hands of the clock. This is a reminder, you get a copy of this worksheet in the link below so you can print and follow along. All right, let's start. Number one, we are given a clock and you have two hand, the short hand and the long hand. The short hand is your hours and the long hand is your minute. I recommend starting with the minutes first. The minutes is read by these little dots. So it goes one, two, three, four, and every time you get to a whole number, it's a five minute. Then six, seven, eight, nine, 10 minutes, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes. So right now, the long hand minutes is pointing at the three, which is 15 minutes. So it is 15 minutes. We'll put the two colon. And then for the shorthand, that is the hour hand, it is currently pointing at between 12 and one. So it's implying that it is currently 12. So we'll put the number 12. Now the reason why this hand is not pointing directly at the 12 is because between here and here, the hand moves until this minute hand reaches the whole way around. So for example, if this minute hand was at in the middle, which is 30 minutes, then this hour hand would be somewhere near the middle. And eventually, once this minute hand reaches the full hour to one o'clock, then this hand would have reached the one o'clock. Okay, so as long as we just try a few more problems and it will start to make more sense. Okay, let's try number two together. Number two, we have, we'll start with the minutes hand. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So right now, this is 35 minutes, we'll put 35. And now we're gonna go for the hours. So the hours is pointing after the 10. And again, as I mentioned earlier, notice how the hour hand is almost between the 10 and the 11, because right now it's almost past the 30 minutes mark. So right now it is 10, 35. Okay, so now it's your turn. Go ahead and try the rest of the problems and then we'll go over the answer.
right, we need more time to just pause the videos. Otherwise, let's go over the answer and see how you did. Number three. Right now, it's very tempting to say it's four o'clock, but it's not four. Let's start with the minutes hand first. This 11 is the 55. And then because it's between the three and the four, it's still three o'clock. It is almost four o'clock. Once this hand moves to the 12, then it will be four o'clock. Okay, number four. We here at 20. And then it is after the nine, so it is 9.20. Number five, oh, this is 30, 35, 40, so it's 40 minutes. And it's after the three, so it's 3.40. Okay, number six, we have is 15. So right now it's 15 minutes. And it is after the one, so it is 1.15. Okay, next we have, this is 20, 25 minutes. And it's after the 11, so it is 11, 25. Number eight we have is the long hands at 25 minutes. And it is after four, so 4, 25. And for number nine, it is at 45. And it's after the four, so it is 445. Okay, so how did you do? There are more of this worksheet in the link below. You can print as many as you need to practice. Go ahead, go for all of them. Good luck and have fun.